Today, guys, we're going to be doing a deep dive into Subaru's advanced technologies. If you've ever found yourself wondering about EyeSight, SI Drive, X Mode, or any other Subaru advanced technology, you found the right video because that's what we're going to be covering today. With that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. First of all, we'll talk about Subaru's EyeSight system. Now, EyeSight is likely the most widely known Subaru advanced technology in their vehicles. EyeSight is like having another pair of eyes on the road in the vehicle with you, constantly monitoring traffic around you, obstructions, helping you maintain a safe distance to the vehicle in front of you, and stay within your lane. Now, the Subaru EyeSight system in the barest form or explanation of how it works is it's a pair of stereo optic cameras. There's two cameras on either side of the upper part of the windshield near the rear view mirror. Now, those cameras are constantly looking out ahead of the vehicle, and through the software that runs those cameras, they can detect things like cars and pedestrians and even see the lines on the sides of the road. Now, with that data, they can help you with automatic emergency braking, bring you to a complete stop if you are distracted and don't happen to see something run out in front of the road, a car stop short, etc. The EyeSight system is there to apply your brakes and help you in that emergency situation. Also, it helps with their adaptive cruise control. The EyeSight cameras monitor traffic around you as well as the car in front of you, and it will help maintain a safe distance with that car that you can select through the controls of how close or how far you want the follow distance to be. If the car in front of you slows down, the EyeSight system will see that and automatically slow your cruise control speed. If they speed up, it will automatically increase your speed to or at that predetermined set speed that you set when you set the adaptive cruise control. Now with that system, as we said, it monitors the lines on the road. So if you veer out of your lane, it will warn you that you are veering out of your lane. And now with the newer EyeSight system, it can actually help steer you back into your lane with a gentle uh, moving of the actual steering wheel, steering column, uh, gives you some haptic feedback. Now, a lot of people love the EyeSight system and a lot of people herald its safety and innovation for the Subaru brand, but a lot of people think it oversteps some and is a little bit too intrusive into your life, like the newer EyeSight system with the camera that actually faces inward and watches you as you drive. Now, the camera watches your face, watches your eyes. It alerts you if you look drowsy or if you're nodding off or if you're texting and looking at your phone or turned around yelling at the kids in the back seat. It monitors you and says, hey, stop that. You're not being safe. Watch the road. Now, you can turn any or all of these systems off or you can leave them all on. Again, some people love these features, some people uh, less than love these features, but they are there and it's one thing that Subaru has pioneered and are well known for and has helped make Subaru one of the safest vehicle brands on the road today. Next up, let's talk about SI Drive or Subaru Intelligent Drive. Now this is a system that allows you to change the way that your vehicle responds to your inputs with three distinct modes. You have Intelligent Mode, Sport Mode, and Sport Sharp Mode. Now these are mostly found on the performance side of the Subaru vehicles, like the Subaru WRX STI, the WRX, or the older Legacy GTs, etc. Uh, there's many models that do feature SI Drive, and it's normally a dial in the center console. Now, this basically just changes your throttle input and in the turbocharged cars can adjust how the turbocharge boost comes in. So intelligent mode is like your everyday driving mode. It's a little more numbed, it's not giving you peak performance and it gives you better fuel economy. Next up is the sport mode that makes the throttle more responsive and can add a little bit quicker boost to the turbocharged engines, a little bit more throttle response, a little bit more uh, acceleration feel. And the top tier model, or the most responsive, is that Sport Sharp. Now Sport Sharp, again, gives you the most crisp and immediate throttle response and helps that turbocharged boost come on much quicker or at least feel that way. With SI Drive, you can tailor your Subaru's performance and response to your inputs to suit your driving style and road conditions, making your drive much more enjoyable. 
Next on the list, we'll talk about X Mode. Now, X Mode is featured in a lot of Subaru vehicles, especially in the wilderness models, and it gives you extra confidence when conditions get bad or the road just disappears out from under you and you are off roading. So, X Mode will change the characteristics of the engine, transmission, and all wheel drive system for maximum traction and maximum comfort off road and in those bad inclement conditions. There's also a built-in hill descent assist in the X mode function that will help slow you and control you on a steep downward grade where you don't have to ride your brakes and grit your teeth going down those steep slippery inclines. So whether you're driving through mud, snow, sleet, rain, whatever, X mode gives you more confidence in your Subaru vehicle's abilities to tackle anything that comes before them. So shifting gears, let's talk about Subaru Starlink infotainment system. Now Starlink is an integration of information, entertainment, and safety features. So your infotainment screen, the big tablet in the middle of your dashboard has the Starlink system built into it. With Starlink, you can access your favorite apps, stream music, get real-time traffic reports, and also integrate your smartphone through Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Now there's a whole host of safety features built into the Starlink system as well, such as automatic collision reporting, where if you have an accident, have a wreck, and your airbags deploy, the Subaru Starlink system will automatically contact emergency services in the area and alert them of your crash. There's also a built-in stolen vehicle recovery feature that will help track your Subaru if it's stolen and help the police and authorities get it back to you. There's also the system that allows for remote access with an app on your smartphone where you can control certain things from your Subaru for your Subaru from your smartphone. Next up is Subaru's Driver Focus Distraction Mitigation System. That is a full mouthful. Now we touched on this a little bit earlier in the video as part of the EyeSight system. It is actually separate from EyeSight, but it's kind of integrated together in that same host of integrated safety watching you with the camera system. Now the Driver Focus distraction mitigation system has that camera that points directly to you and watches you while you drive. It checks for eye movement, eye placement, head movement, head placement. So it makes sure that you're not nodding off or falling asleep, which is great for long road trips, long commutes, or nighttime drives where you might start nodding off and getting a little tired. It will alert you that, hey, wake up, focus, look at the road, or find a spot to pull over and rest for a while. Also, it will help you with that whole looking at your smartphone thing and watching your Starlink infotainment system and, uh, again, yelling at the kids in the back for acting up. So it helps with that distraction, helps to keep you back on focus, looking out the windshield like you should be whenever you're driving a vehicle, and keeps you focused on the road. So a lot of people like this system. A lot of people are a little bit leery of the system, especially having that camera pointed inwards at you, monitoring your eyes, monitoring your face, facial recognition, the software behind it, and feel a little bit of uh, invasion into their privacy. But again, you can turn these systems on and turn these systems off if you so well desire in your Subaru. So moving on from there, we'll look at Subaru's reverse automatic braking system. Now this is kind of under the same net as EyeSight, but it, it is its own standalone, separate from the EyeSight system. It's just another one of those autonomous safety features built into the car. So through sensors in the rear bumper, it monitors around the back side of the car for approaching vehicles, pedestrians, or any other obstruction. And if need be, we'll apply the brakes and bring you to a full stop if it detects you are getting way too close, way too fast to something. Say you're in a parking lot and you are trying to back out your Forester between two big Ford Expeditions and you just can't see what's on either side of you or what's out the back of you other than a small section for your rear view mirror and backup camera. Say you start coming out and a car is flying through the parking lot, the automatic reverse braking will sense that and slam on the brakes for you before you have time to realize and do it yourself. As well as if you're backing out of the garage and one of your kids goes running around behind the car, it can sense that and automatically stop the car to keep you from backing over the little tyke. Same as well if there's a trash can, etc. in the driveway that you're backing up and on your phone and late for work, 
it can slam those brakes on and prevent you from messing up the back bumper on the mailbox or the trash can that was left in the driveway. Next up is blind spot detection and rear cross traffic alerts. Now these both tie into what we previously talked about with the eyesight system and the reverse automatic braking. But what we have here is the blind spot detection system using radar and other sensors down the side and the back of the car to monitor when there is a car or truck in your blind spot on your right or left hand side and alerting you of that before you go to make that lane change without looking on your Subaru vehicle side view mirrors, you will see an amber light either in the inside housing of those rear view mirrors or in the glass on the outside, depending on what model year you have and uh, how new or old it is. And it just is an extra safety net there, keeping you safe if you're distracted trying to make a lane change or you know just not paying attention or looking over your shoulder like you should be. Uh, it lets you know when there is an obstruction there, that car, that truck you didn't see, or that motorcycle. Now, that also ties back into the rear cross-traffic alert to the automatic rear braking. Again, this system will alert you, like I said before, that traffic going through the parking lot way too fast as you're trying to back out blindly between two massive SUVs. It will help alert you as well as activate that automatic rear braking if it senses that you are too close to that object or accelerating backwards too quickly. So the systems work in unison with the rear cross traffic alerts and the automatic reverse braking as well as the uh, blind spot detection as well as the Subaru EyeSight system with that lane assist. They all work in conjunction with each other. Lastly, to round things up, we'll talk about Subaru's advanced adaptive lighting. Now, this system helps for those nighttime drives, making it much easier, much more comfortable, and a lot safer. Now, with this system, you have two main features. One is steering responsive headlights, where depending on the steering angle and speed, the headlights will actually swivel to the right or to the left a few degrees in track of your steering to help you see around those blind corners at night and just light up the road that much better. Also part of the system is automatic dimming of your high beam. So if you're driving and you're distracted again, the kids are yelling and all that stuff in the back seat, what have you, if the car detects you're getting too close to another car, if your high beam's on, it will automatically dim those high beams and then reapply the high beams once that car has passed and it no longer sees those headlights coming towards it. The system just makes it much easier, much safer, and much more comfortable driving at night with that responsive steering headlights, seeing around those blind corners to maybe give you a few seconds more to uh, react to a deer on the side of the road that you would not have seen in another car that did not have those steering responsive headlights. Uh, but again, if you don't see it, then hopefully the eyesight system would see it before you and help you out as well. So guys, that'll do it for today's video on Subaru Advanced Technologies. Let me know down in the comment section below what your favorite Subaru Advanced Technology is or if you hate all technology and wish cars would be back made like they were in the 70s and 80s with no warning stickers on anything. If you like the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, or subscribe for future Subaru content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you all in the next one.